Hey, it's me, Zanov, and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Anniversary Edition Legendary Difficulty Survival Mode Playthrough. How are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? I'm not doing so crash up myself, to be honest. It's been a bit of a rough time for me. I uh, haven't been able to do any recording since the 24th of December, and that wasn't an intentional, like, oh, the 25th of December, you know, Christmas. I'm going to take some time off for myself and chill out. I've already uh, pre pre-recorded i had already pre-recorded videos up until that point up until like part 25 just to like give you guys an idea of you know how i try and like work and pump things out quickly and get a lot of recording done but unfortunately for me on the 25th so christmas day a uh, an ear infection decided to come along and make itself very much so unpleasantly known so I've been dealing with an ear infection the last few days, been pretty rough, been pretty hard to sleep, been pretty hard for all that stuff. But uh, yeah, now I can finally talk without it being somewhat painful, so I really want to get back into Skyrim, get my head back into what it was, what it was we were doing, because I've forgotten some of the things I had in my head originally planned to do, but you know, life gets in the way, you just get an ear infection. It's just what happens. So, uh, yeah, also with the lack of sleep, please forgive me if I am absolutely lacking in the... I know I usually am, to be honest. <laughs> but please forgive me if I am absolutely lacking in the commentary department because my brain might just be falling out the back of my head. That's right, we're in survival mode and we cannot fast travel. But that's looking like the closest stables we're going to be able to get to I think or yeah we might just go to Whiterun keep it simple for now I don't want to have to do too much thinking so yeah we're going to head over to the Whiterun stables and then try and catch a carriage to I see my Dramora Lords made work made short work of him and then try to catch a carriage to uh what do you call it? College of Winter Hold, jeez, I just cannot think. I cannot think at all. And yeah, as I said, my commentary is going to be a bit bit subpar because even though I can talk now without, uh, pain, there, without pain, there's like just a little bit there that I feel like if I just click my jaw the wrong way or something, it's just going to snap me right back into it. So going to have to try and manage that as it comes, but you know. We all, we all have these pains and ailments that happen. It's just life. You just you just got to do what you got to do. And I'm going to try my best to not let this stop me from doing what I'm actually enjoying doing. It's so strange that, you know, the, the one... The, not strange. I would say unfortunate. <laughs> the one uh, leave period I get per year. And uh, that's when I get an ear infection. Is when I'm supposed to be enjoying the days off back with family and all the rest of it and instead I'm spending half my time with my head on a pillow and some drops in my ear because I can not do anything and it's such just like a tiny just such a tiny little thing as well just a tiny little ear infection but it's just so debilitating to everything that you usually do so yeah you can no longer sit up and eat, you can no longer sit up and talk and have long conversations, you can no longer do anything. Pretty much pretty much ruins everything that Christmas is, right? You know, like a big Christmas dinner or a big Christmas lunch or a big Christmas breakfast. You, With all the family, you just want to sit around and chat and have a good old jolly time. And there I am, good old Zarnov, just in the corner, laying down on the couch with some drops in his ear, feeling sorry for himself because... He's absolutely disliking life at that moment. <laughs> but it's all good. I got there in the end. It feels like uh it feels like this ear is finally on its uh uh path to recovery. It's still blocked, it's still ringing. It's still very much annoying, but uh, I'm getting used to it. it. It'll be fine. In any case, we have made our way to White Run Stables. Let's jump off this horse and actually before we uh before we use your carriage services my friend Bjorlum, it might be wise for us actually no we'll do that when we get to winterhold 
there'll be no point because otherwise we'll do it we'll get to winter hold and all of our things will just be drained again and this is Ilya, right yeah Ilya did she made a return i think last episode or the episode beforehand don't disappear with all my stuff and lose it all again please Bjorlum. i can take you to any of the hold capitals yeah so i'd like to hire your carriage if that's not too much Where to ask to uh, let's go to Winterhold. Climbing back and we'll be off. Thank you very much, my friend. Now, I've got a feeling something might be going down at Winterhold, but we're just going to have to take a little, uh, snooze there. Forgive me. Oh, jeez, those are... Oh, you are freezing, you are weary, you are hungry, the air is treacherously cold. I'm going to have to get used to these mechanics all over again. Because I quite legitimately haven't played Skyrim since, uh, what, what's the date now? It's the 29th for me, current time, 29th, currently 3 o'clock in Australia oh, in the sorry. afternoon. Are you feeling all right? Uh, and yeah, I completely forgot where that thought was going. Oh well, all good. <laughs> As I said, my brain is just going to fall out the back of my head. Uh, unfortunately, just with the lack of sleep, but it's all good. Let's talk to this fella. If there's anything you need, just let me know. I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Awesome. Ah, that's I'll where I was going with room. that thought. So that's I the think. current time, and I have not, uh, I haven't been able to play Skyrim or do any recording or anything, obviously, for let the last five need. days. That will be all. Thank you very much. For the last five days, I haven't done anything, so... I'm not, I'm not completely out of touch, I would say, but I just uh, need to re-familiarize myself with the happenings and everything that's actually going on in this current character's save, and I forgot to do the little slide save zoop thing. I don't believe we have a level up there, that's another thing I forgot, is we sleep when we want to level up and all that kind of stuff. Oh, we do have a level up, how about that? Completely forgot. Um, or well, didn't even forget, just had no idea. Let's go... What were we even trying to... Uh, let's go Magicka. <laughs> and I promise this isn't going to be one of those instances where whoever's doing the playthrough leaves the playthrough for a couple days, comes back, doesn't really know what's going on, gets overwhelmed and just starts again. That is not at all my intention. I do not want to just start this playthrough over again. So we're going to get back into it, thoroughly immerse ourselves back into it. Um, I'm thinking the intentions for this playthrough, being Legendary Survival Mode... I don't think it'll be a completionist playthrough just because survival mode just makes that extremely tedious um and a few things you know yeah it, it, it just draws it out quite a lot i think maybe a next playthrough or a playthrough i might start up in tandem with this playthrough but i don't know but it'll just be legendary difficulty not survival mode and we can try and probably make that more of a completionist playthrough obviously change it up you know change up who the character is and uh, what he does and stuff, and might even potentially have some things to do with mods as well in other future playthroughs. Nothing that changes the game heaps, as I said, I'm not a fan of that, but just things that like add in the textures, kind of just revitalize or breathe a, breathe a bit of a breath of fresh air into Skyrim, giving it new textures and things like that. Because I mean, I've got the hardware, so th there's, there's no reason why I feel like I, I can't try and... Uh, uh, bring up the, the beauty of Skyrim, not re-beautify Skyrim because it's already a very beautiful game, but, uh, you know, as I said, just breathe in that, uh, breath of fresh life or whatever it is I'm trying to say at this point. My gosh, I am feeling the lack of sleep. I'm also going to intermittently, uh, turn off my mic and, um, have a sip of coffee every, every now and then just so I can you know, artificially get some of the brain juices going because, as I said, it's it's I'm having a I'm having a, <laughs> a tough time trying to do this. Oh lordy lordy, what's going on here, eh? Tolfdir, Ferolda, and Arniel Gain, and I'm getting cold, so I'm you not going to stall any longer. You have it then. I have it. It's as powerful as the Sidics believe it to be. Yes, I'm hoping that it is as powerful as you are believing it to be, because I am having trouble remembering what it is I actually have. Um, <laughs> where's Mirabelle? She, she didn't make it. Oh, jeez. When geez. it was clear we were going to have to fall back, she stayed behind and made sure the rest of us were all right. Killed off camera, how unfortunate. She was a good character too. Um, 
Why are you all out here? Why are you all the way out here? Look for yourself. Ancano's power is growing. Makes sense. He can't crack whatever magic he's using to shield himself. I hope your trip to Labyrinthian was worth it. I believe it was. Let's get in there. I'll be right behind you. Okay, okay, the start. Ah, yes, that's what I have. That's what it is. Absorb 20 Magicka per second. If the target is out of Magicka, absorb health instead. Use the staff to get we into the college. I have to agree. We probably shouldn't have. Well, you guys aren't very positive, are you? Let's uh, let's see if this does anything. There we go. That worked. Use the staff of Magnus to enter the College of Winterhold. Reach the Hall of the Elements. Let's do it. Let's go get this fella. Uh, make sure you just keep studying your enchantments and stuff. Can't remember what his name is. Yeah, make sure you don't help with this existential crisis the college is currently uh, going uh, going through. Defeat or oh, my favorite part of the game. My favorite part of the game. You think I don't know what you're up to? You think I can't destroy you? The power to unmake the world at my fingertips. And you think you can do anything about it? Yes. Yes, indeed. I am beyond your pathetic attempts at magic. You cannot touch me. Oh, we will see about that. Enough. So I believe we have to do Oh jeez. Absolutely smash them. <laughs> Hopefully they get up very, very soon. So let's try and do this. Whoa, that's not what I wanted. Let's get these guys out and then let's hope that Tolfdir and all that eventually stand back up because I definitely cannot do this on my own but let's get this until I'm pretty sure now Encarno is vulnerable he is so let's get both the Dramora Lords on him hopefully they aggro on him because they would absolutely destroy him come on No, not going to do that to me, and yeah, they will absolutely destroy him once. Okay, maybe i got to do it again. Let's do this. Yeah, I feel like that's it. And let's get the Remora Lords on him again. Hopefully they actually aggro on him and start doing... There we go. Of aggroing on the dang magic anomalies, they're useless. Is that all it takes for him to. He just has to quickly hit this thing with a bit of electricity and he gets his uh, infinite health back? Is that all that it takes? I think. Yeah, it is. Okie dokie. We're gonna have to get the Staff of Magnus back out again. Get his health back to mortal status. And dang, I got rid of the staff again. And let's get these guys over there. I really want them to stop aggroing these magic anomalies. They're not doing their job. Get Ancano, please. For the love of everything, get Ancano. Thank you. Once he's dead, we can get out of here. Oh, you annoying thing. Come on. Do your job. Has he got infinite health again? Oh, by the time they actually aggro onto him, he's just got health again. Like, he's just got infinite health again. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Now he's mortal again. These guys are just staying permanently paralyzed. Okay. Let's do this. Surely he hasn't got infinite health still. Here we go. It looks like we've depleted his magic as well. Come on. No, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Jeez, I gotta get used to what I've got favorite and what's what again. Um. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You're none of that. None of that. Aggro on him. Please. 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 Aggro on Onkano. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Much, much, much appreciated. Notice how I'm saying that just because I trust you'll do the right thing. I haven't actually seen you aggro on Onkano. So hopefully you've done the right thing. 
And you haven't. You are attacking the things that are just going to waste time. Oh, so good. Let's see if we can uh, get magic from him. There we go. That's the goal. And do that. And do that. No! Oh, these things. These dang things. I swear. Okay, we're not getting any magic from him. Which means he must still be infinite. We're just going to have to do this ourselves. So what we're going to do is... Going to get that. Going to do that. And I'm just going to absolutely smash him. There we go. Didn't want to do this. I really wanted my Dramora Lords to do it. But I suppose that actually was the way easier way to do it. <laughs> now we've just got all these annoying things to deal with. Okie dokie. I'm not... Oh, so many. I won't make us sit through all of it. We will get this under control. And oh my goodness, it looks like the last one is finally... There we go. It has gone down. Now that whole time I was basically casting uh, Detect Life and Reconjuring the Dramora Lords just to uh, try and get Alteration up. So I think we leveled Alteration a few times there. Just going to go around and collect all the soul gems out of these piles now because I'm pretty sure what we were lacking was uh soul so gems so much power never in my life have i seen something like this yeah pretty crazy hey man uh so yeah from memory when we were doing the enchanting and i was trying to get that to 100 what we actually began to run out of was soul gems which is originally what we had absolutely tons of so now we're out of soul gems so i'm going to try and make it a priority to uh get more of those in any case Tolf dear, my friend. What have you got to say? I knew you could do it. Oh, always words of affirmation from this fella. What do we do now? I... I don't know. Ancano is gone, but whatever he's done to the eye doesn't seem to have stopped. I have no idea what to do. Neither do I, but maybe old Quarrenir, the fella who loves now to hang out in the inn in Winterhold, hey? I know where you like to, you know, spend your time quarantine. Maybe he knows what to do. We knew you would succeed. Ah, uh, another person who believed in me. Justifies our belief in you. You have proven yourself more than worthy to guide the College of Winterhold. How did you know I'd be able to defeat Ancano? Just ignore those Dramoras uh, fading out of existence in the background. A great many things obscured to you are quite clear to us. We have long believed you would prevail. What do we do now? The eye has grown unstable. It cannot remain here or else it may destroy your college and this world. It must be secured. Onkano's actions prove that the world is not ready for such a thing. We shall safeguard it. For now. You now have the opportunity to maintain your college and carry on with your lives. You have our gratitude, Archmage. How about that? Quite the promotion. And yes, he is right. And Kano definitely proved that we're not ready for it. You know, the typical story of the one bad apple ruining it for the bunch. Pretty much the story with a lot of things in life in general. But in any case, would you look at that? As quick as it was here, it was now gone. You've done it. The college is safe again, thanks to your work. Oh, I couldn't have done it without you, Toph, dear. I dare say the Sidics are right. There's no one more deserving to be Archmage, in my opinion. Here, consider these yours, and the Archmage's quarters as well. I shall be here for advice, should you need me. Cool. Archmage's robes added. Archmage's quarters key added. How about that? Okie dokie. Take care now. I will, I will. I just can't really walk right now. Let's have a look at what we just got. So, we're wearing the Ethereal Crown. Obviously, retains the last standing stone ability you had, granting you its effects and additions to those of your current stone. We are currently wearing Apprentice Robes of Destruction. So, Destruction spell... Oh, Destruction and Alteration. So, Destruction spells cost 15% less to cast. Magicka regenerates 75% faster. And Alteration spells cost 15% less to cast. Pretty good. Archmage's Robes, all spells cost 15% less to cast, plus 50 Magicka, and Magicka regenerates 100% faster. And it's got a warmth of 54. Is that 
that is way better. That is what the fine clothes had. We are definitely putting those bad boys on. We are definitely putting those bad boys on. So essentially, plus five levels to our Magicka. That was giving us no, uh, no stat boost. So plus five levels basically to our Magicka. Regenerates 100% faster instead of 75% faster. And all spells cost 15% less to cast instead of just two schools of magic costing 15% less, less to cast. Pretty insane robes. Pretty insane abilities. And it works. It fits pretty nicely. It just, you know, covers up the crown a little bit. Like, we actually look pretty sick, I think. I think we look really, really no good. Offense. There's no bad clipping so issues. Oh, that is not what I needed to hear on Monday. I just want to hear positive things. I don't want to hear about looking sickly, particularly with what is currently ailing me in real life. I just want to feel normal. And I really want to not think about this constant death ringing in my right ear, which is really annoying me. Ilya, uh, what are you doing? I need to talk to you. Why won't you let me talk to you? What's happened? Okie dokie. Looks like I can't talk to Ilya. Let's, uh, let's wait an hour. I cannot wait in this location. Okay. <laughs> okay. Looks like nothing's happening positive for me. And, ooh, we forgot to talk to this guy before we became Archmage. The college, Skyrim, all of Tamriel owes you a great debt. See, this guy is a good person to talk to before you become Archmage because he I'm will sell things. We're back to business as usual. But as soon as you're Archmage, he won't. Oh, here, you can be quite sure maybe he will. I understand you're an elf who knows how to get things. All right, let's let's not overdo it. <clears throat> Meet me in my quarters. Oh, awesome! Good. I thought once you became Archmage, he uh, didn't sell anything to you. Maybe Never that still something. is a thing. Especially something hard to come by. Let me know. Oh, good. Maybe they fixed it. Maybe they patched it. I don't know. But let's search on Kano. So we don't need any of his stuff, but I'm gonna leave him naked. Just because I don't like him. Long time building up a list of put him in the uh, from all over Tamriel. That's good. That's good. I'm happy to hear it. We're just gonna put him, just splay him somewhere. Need something? No, no. Just gonna put this guy out in the middle somewhere, just because it's gonna make me slightly happier. There we go. Just have him splayed for everyone to see. Weakness. Absolute weakness. Some, some very vascular legs, but but weakness. Weakness, absolute weakness. Now, we're over encumbered, and this is annoying me. Hopefully, Ilya's coming out here with us. No, she's not. Why would she work? Hey, why would she work? Hopefully, I can sell some things to you so very, you very to quickly. Yes, I do wish to master the arcane arts. Uh, what can we sell you that's going to actually? Oh, we got a bunch of money. That's good. Uh, we'll sell you this. We will sell you that. We no longer need these. I can probably disenchant them, I think. So actually, we might hold on to them, even though it would be good to sell. You can't buy them anyway. Uh, Magicka, that's a good ring. And those are some good boots. And they're pretty weak gloves. We will sell you these. These are from good old uh, Ancano. And I don't think we're going to be able to sell you much else that's going to solve our little weight issue here. Oh, we got a fair few soul gems. Jeez, how did we got... Man, we must have gotten a lot of soul gems going through Labyrinthian. I remember we ran out of soul gems. That's almost certain it was soul gems we ran out of. I don't know. I can't remember exactly. I'm, but I'm pretty sure it was soul gems. Let's, uh... Oh, man. Come on. Let's, uh, try... So at 255, mm -hmm. we need 251. Uh, we got to meet him at his quarters if we want to talk to him and sell him more stuff. Ilya, please work. Just, just, just one time. Is it because you got paralyzed? Or something? Maybe if I healing hands you, something will happen. Please, I've just, I'm not in the mood for this Ilya at all. I must be, I must be. Hopefully that will do something and knock some sense into you. No, no, it's not looking like it will. I cannot wait in this location still. Oh my goodness, okay. Let's uh, let's make our way to the Archmage's Thanks quarters. Thanks to you, the people of Skyrim will continue to have a place to study magic, even if most of them resent you for it. 
Well, that's good. And there looks like there's a floating pile of uh, ashes there for with a soul gem for us to collect. But let's go check out our new place anyway. Been delaying that for long enough. Been trying to get rid of all of the things we're carrying. Oh, well, we'll just deal with it for now. Oh, my goodness, this is painful. I'm so sorry I'm putting you guys through this. But it's only for a little wee bit longer because now we have access to all of this stuff. Now, it's already looted because I already took it all. But once it respawns, <laughs> it will be all for us. Uh, there will be no more stealing. All the soul gems in these cases, all the alchemical ingredients will be all for us to take. So now we are getting really, really tired. I'm just going to look for a place where I can store... Actually, let's disenchant some things. Let's disenchant whatever we can disenchant first, like those robes. Just get some weight off of us real quick. Disenchant, hopefully we got a bunch and we got nothing. How do we already have that other enchantment of the alteration? I, I don't know. Whatever, let's, um, oh, I don't even, this is another brain falling out the back of the head moment. I don't even know what I'm going to store up here because a lot of the things I have, I think I just want to sell. Um, what do we have that's weighing us down so much? I don't even know. Let me re-familiarize myself with my inventory and perhaps sort it out just a wee bit and then we will come back. Okie dokie, so I got Hildrun, I gave her some of my stuff, now let's speak to Certainly Enther. Certainly nothing illicit going on here, Archmage, you can be quite sure of that. Oh no, that's what I was thinking. I'm pretty sure once you become Archmage you can't actually access him for things to buy and sell and something, stuff. Especially something okay, he's giving me some conflicting dialogue, hopefully he still works. Talk to Enther. I've spent a long time building up a list of contacts for goods from all over Tamriel. Very interesting, can we do business? I hope you've got some coin. Oh, I sure do. I do. The question is, what have you got? Now let's just take a look then. Okie dokie. So, he does have some stuff and we can sell some stuff to him. So, he's got 500 gold and I'm pretty sure we can sell stolen things to him as well. Not exactly sure. Let's see if we get a stolen icon pop up. A stolen icon. A stolen icon. You'll see it in the uh, description boxes, usually at the top right there. Um, if you've got something stolen, it will tell you. And we usually have a fair bit of stolen things, so the fact that one is not showing up is kind of not... It's, it's not making me feel great, but oh well. Looks like he won't buy stolen things from us just yet. Let's keep all those things to enchant. Let's start getting rid of some things that we are never going to use like this kind of stuff stamina we might use a potion of strength every so often but on rare occurrence let's get rid of it anyway stamina potions we'll keep the resist potions potion of illusion don't really need it um brief invisibility don't really need it cure disease we definitely need it poisons we're never going to use and he's out of gold how good how good how good maybe he's got some stuff that we want to buy back so he's got a black soul gem i'm not really interested in dumping my money into those soul gems to be honest what has he got in terms of apparel maybe he's got something good Ooh, magicka regenerates 150 percent faster pretty good but not going to sway us today. Dread zombies, no. Potions, I can't think of anything he'd have that would want. Yeah, no, no, no. Daedra Heart, let's, uh, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's get one of those just so he's got some money. Uh, because we can complete a quest off the top of my head. I'm surprised I'm remembering it, but we can complete a quest with the Daedra Heart. We needed one. Even though we've also got uh, something real close by that can, uh, get a uh, Daedra Heart for us. A quest we have to start. Sorry, again, brain falling out the back ahead. Spell Tome, Mara's Wrath. For 30 seconds, opponents in melee range take 16 points fire damage per second. Undead up to level 26. Flee for 30 seconds. Swim unharmed in freezing cold water. Dang. Dang. Does that mean we have to swim unharmed in freezing cold water? Oh no, we can we can cast that on us and swim on. Okay, okay, I, I understand that now. 
Oh wow. Uh yeah, we will we'll definitely take that. That seems pretty dang good, actually. Touch of death absorb 40 points of health per second from target for four seconds. Wowza, that's looking like a pretty beefy strangulation to me. Let's take it, because I'm pretty sure we don't have that. Um Yeah, that's way better than Hangman's noose as well. Um don't think there's anything else we want from you. But now you've got a fair bit of money that we can get back in the form of things that we want to offload on you. So weakness to magic, water breathing, paralysis poison, ice wraith essence keep, enchanters, filter. We got three of them for 60 seconds. Items enchanted are 16% stronger. Um, pretty good. Can Is there a better... One than that, and I'm sure we'll come across more anyway. So yeah, we'll sell them for now. Enhance stamina, resist shock, keep it, draw obstruction, sell it. And what else do we have? Mass paralysis, sell it. We'll keep all the food. We'll keep all this. We'll keep all that. Uh, we'll sell the madness or malachite or. And I think that might be looking like that's about it uh, we're gonna keep the gold ingots and gold ores because we'll make some rings out of them okay that's looking like it's about it for now however there's got to be one up here please please well, there's got to be one around at least if there's not one up here I'm almost certain there's usually one up here maybe it's in the other building I'm thinking about but I'm pretty sure there's like a little enchant uh, alchemy table down here somewhere in my room, maybe. Hey, Tolf dear. What's crack a lacking? Okie dokie. No alchemy table. I thought there would be one. Let's quickly run over there because now he's got a bunch of gold. Which means we can make a certain something and go and sell that certain something back to him. And I'm doing this on the fly. I'm. Um, just assuming I have the ingredients for that certain something. I'm pretty sure I do. If I don't, I'll be upset. But it's all good. I'm pretty sure we do. Let's... Where is it? There it is. So, we are going to make the... Age old... We got a bunch of creep glass, so that's good. We are going to make the good old... Where is it? Garlic. And... We do not have it. So what we're going to do is fall back on that. Clear selections. Because there is another thing we can make. That's scaly. And... Wow, this is just not going great. Because we, <laughs> we don't have an ingredient for the second potion I want to make either. Okay, it looks like we're not doing that. <laughs> Dang. Um, how are we going to get our money back out of him? How are we going to get our money back out of him? Are you feeling hmm. sick? I am feeling a little bit sick, a little bit under the weather, to be honest. Uh, is there any of that stuff here? No. No. So what we're missing we is Mora Tapanella, and I usually have tons of Mora Tapanella. Um. Oh well. I'm just going to say, oh well. We've got plenty of money, so what we want to do now will be... As I said, this is this episode is probably going to be a bit more of just reacquainting myself with what it is we still have to do. Because I can't remember everything. But I remember I brought that Daedric Heart for this. Where is it? It's probably, I'm going to say, in here somewhere. Something about bringing something to a tub, I believe. Bring... A Daedra Heart and Troll Fat to a tub somewhere. There we go. And Troll Fat's pretty easy to come by. I wouldn't be surprised if we already had some of that. Where are you? And it's looking like we don't even have. Oh, yeah, we do. Troll Fat. Okay, okay. So we can complete that now. Where is that on the map? 
Um, so yeah, I haven't planned. Usually all my episodes are pretty well planned out in terms of what I want to do, in terms of efficiency and making things kind of just uh, work and just all happen together nicely or fluidly and stuff. However, uh, this episode is going to be less like that and more like uh, just pain because... <laughs> I can barely think, as I've already mentioned many, many times right now. I'm quite uh, sleep deprived, but just can't sleep anyway, just because my ear is uh, pretty annoying. It's just uh, continue. So before it was just, you know, painful, blocked and ringing. Now it's more or less just a tiny bit of pain. Oh, did you hear that? You know, I, I'm pretty sure I've heard a lot of guys have heard the same thing. Um... Yeah, now it's just kind of ringing and blocked, which is also annoying. Still very hard to get to sleep. So, a lot of brain at the back of head moments. It's just gonna. It's just that's just how it's gonna be. This episode, I'm very sorry. I I don't mean for it to be like this. The lack of pre-planning going into this episode, I'm also very sorry for. But this this one can just be a more like kickback, I would say, kind of episode because we're gonna just run into things like this bear that I don't want to deal with. So we're not going to deal with it. We're just going to kick back and keep running. And I think this might be the like fifth or sixth time I've come across my Delia out in the wilderness. I, I can definitely say I've the survival mode has definitely increased the frequency at which I've seen my the liar. The liar. He is he has popped up quite a bit. But instead of making you guys watch me run through all this, man, these are these Archmage robes are putting in some work. I'm really liking that we got these Archmage robes on now. We aren't just absolutely dying to the cold within three seconds. Um, yeah, but we'll get to Windhelm and we'll catch a carriage from there. Okay, we've made it to Windhelm. We still have plenty of health. So this, uh, this, this, uh, these robes are definitely doing, uh, they're definitely putting in work. But what we're going to do is Myra's Wrath, yes. Touch of Death, yes, and we're going to quickly favorite those while I'm remembering we've got them. So, Elemental Burst, yeah, yeah, we'll keep you. Hangman's Noose, you're no longer the best. It's definitely Touch of Death, and that's not even the same thing as Hangman's Noose, is it? Oh, it is. Okay, yeah, it is. Um, and Myra's Wrath. Definitely going to favorite that as well. So I want to put that on me. So for 30 seconds, opponents in melee range take 16 points of fire damage per second. Undead up to level 26. Flee for 30 seconds. Swim unharmed in freezing cold water. Let's give that a go. So I'm going to quick save here. Going to cast this on us. And does that like warm us up as well? Wow. Swim unharmed in freezing cold water, hey? That's that uh that looked like a little bit of a of a fib to me, I gotta say. That uh it definitely took like we uh it definitely looked like we took some harm there. And it definitely looked like uh we were gonna die. <laughs> um and it definitely doesn't look like this does anything for warming us up. I mean maybe it's maintaining us so we're not getting any colder right now, but it definitely didn't look like it helped. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna quick lay back to that quick save. We are gonna... Did I already land these before I did the quick save? I did, and did I already favorite them? Because they are useful spells, just maybe not uh, for... Or maybe I didn't give it enough time to load, I'm not sure. In any case, w we might try it out again later. I'm just gonna try and jump on good old Glade here. Which is actually a pretty cool name. I'm glad I didn't have to think of it, because otherwise he would have been named something like Gregory. And we can swim across here again unharmed because we're on horseback and hopefully he can uh, just get up there there we go good stuff my friend glade and Ilya, you're working oh oh just as i just as i get done you know sorting out my inventory and everything you just come sprinting over oh it's such a great joy when you decide you want to work Ilya. such a great joy so glad to have you on the team oh Oh, it's been uh, it's been a five day break, and I can still remember how upset I am with Ilya. The feelings are still very very raw. In any case, let's quickly jump on a carriage and get ourselves over to where are we trying to go to? We want to go to Riften. That's definitely the closest place. So 
Need a ride? El Farin, yes. Where do you want to go? I would like to go to Riften. And back and we'll be off. Now, hopefully, we don't die from the cumulative cold exposure. I'm going to quick save there in case that's Better a thing again. But I think that happened when I fast traveled to Winterhold, maybe. I'm not sure. Because it all just accumulated and stacked and just made me die instantaneously. Okay, so it's put us back to warm, which we should be because we're in Riften. We're in the Rift right now. Uh, and we want to go that way. So I'm going to get rid of this custom marker because it's bugging me. And we want to go this way to Lagerspur. Let's get over there and see what she wants this Deja Heart and Troll Fat for. And can you guess what I forgot? I forgot we were on survival mode and we were going to need to sleep and eat before we go over there otherwise we will just be absolutely destroyed. Sam! For a challenge, you've come to the right you're supposed place. to be in here you little devil. What are you What are you doing? Get back in here. Oh. Come on now. You in here now? Nope. You want to stay right outside the tavern? It's all good. Welcome I'm sure you'll still work. Barb, my lord. Oh, I'm nobody's lord, but I appreciate the uh, the respect that you're trying to give me, Kareem Kirava. Sweet, I'd like to rent a room. What have you got for sale first, actually? Hopefully some good food. Apple pie, definitely take it. And we'll go chicken breast, definitely take it. Salmon steak, definitely take it. And that's about all you got. So, I'd like to rent a room. Drink for the thirsty, no, no, no. For the you, you misunderstand me. I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thank you very, very much. It's quite alright, but she'll show me anyway, I know. So, we're going to do the age-old muffle ourselves until we're just about dead. Just to get the illusion going up. And there we go, you get a level. Didn't even think we were going to get a level there, but we got a level. So we're going to muffle ourselves until we're just about to dead. And get as many levels as we can before we go to bed. Because another thing, after we do this quest for a tub, is I'm thinking I'm going to try and smash out. Because we've got tons of soul gems now. And we got some more gold rings we can make. I'm thinking I'm going to try, I'm going to do what the final push and try and get our enchanting to level 100 so we can try and get some really good gear for uh, the next episode. And then after that, uh, we'll probably look at continuing on with the main quest because I finally feel like we are adequately prepared to take on some of those enemies that otherwise turn a 10 minute walk on the road to a three hour walk on the road with multiple quick loads while you try to kill them as they keep on spawning back in. So, I reckon we're just about dead now. We can leave it there. We're gonna take a cure disease potion to get rid of whatever it was everyone said we we're looking sick about. Yeah, we got rid of it, good. And then we're going to go to sleep for a good 24 hours because our guy's been sleep deprived. We're going to level up. We're going to ignore health for now. And... Oh, actually, no. We're going to go... We're going to smack health again because we've got... What was Like five levels worth of... Uh, five levels from the Archmage's robe. So our magic pool's huge. Yeah, it's 510. Yeah, it's absolutely insanely massive. Uh, four per perk points to increase so we've already got the five in enchanter we've got fire enchanter so fire enchantments on weapons and armor are 25% stronger I'm unsure if that uh, converts over to like destruction or if that's under a skill if that if that goes under a skill like what exactly does this do is this like fire resistance enchantments on weapons and armor or fire Fire enchantments that do damage on weapons and fire enchantments that increase resistance on armor are 25% stronger because I don't feel like a like destruction spells cost 15% less whatever would fall under this unless they do. I'm just not sure in case you can't tell. I, I'm just not exactly sure. But uh, right now our guy is definitely feeling hungry. So we're going to quickly smash some illusion. You know, the age-old smash the illusion. And then we're going to get some food enough so that we just bought from Kirava. So we'll get that and we'll get a cabbage soup and that should be just about 100%. That is 100%. Good to see. I do fancy myself a bit of an adventurer. A right 
Oh, Sam. I, I will take you up on that challenge just at a bit of a later date. I don't feel like passing out right now. Trees. I feel... Who are you? I... Reminds I've me of autumn never before. seen you before. The fall forest makes me miss my childhood. Playing among the towering trees in Valenwood. Take living my with advice. My brethren. Don't listen to that talk of the face. Yeah, I wasn't talking to you. I was trying to listen to a character I haven't heard anything from. I've heard everything you guys have to say millions of times. I don't care at this point, all right? If I find a new character, let me have that. Let me have that sense of newism in Skyrim that a lot of people get from multiple uh, in multiple different playthroughs because you just always see something new or you hear something new. Like, I, I genuinely don't think I've ever spoken to that character in the thousands of hours I've undoubtedly played Skyrim at this point. In any case, <sighs> now that we are well rested, well fed, and all survivaled up, let's head over to Lagerspur? 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 Lagerspur. And we're here at Lagerspur, and it looks like this giant has come back to play for some reason. Hopefully some more random orcs have generated so I don't lose any essential... Well, not essential, but uh, basically people that can die that I don't want to die because I like to try and keep everyone alive. So let's get two of these guys out. Hopefully they start putting in work. And then, actually, let's... Uh, oh, God. Okay, yeah. So they're not just random orcs. They're actual people. Let's try and get a soul trap off. And then I really want to try... What is it called again? Let's see if I can remember while it's here. Touch of Death. Yeah, Soul Trap and Touch of Death. So we're going to get a Soul Trap off on And then let's go... Oh, did I just anger all these guys? Please don't tell me I did. I don't think I did. And then let's get this off. Let's see what kind of damage that does to him. Oh, it takes a bit of... That takes a bit of Magicka, actually, I think. Yeah, because it's Destruction, Magicka spell, and I don't have any of it. Oh, well. Well, it looks like we're smashing him anyway. We got the Soul Trap off. Always good. My Dramora Lords are going to go take care of... Ooh that and that and no and no and that and they're new but no and no 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 uh who oh no please don't tell me i lost someone who is <sighs> oh i hate that i hate that so much no someone else as well okay just an orc okay oh i hate it when people that are actually named die like this person, like she would have had something to add and now she's just dead because that stinky giant. Ugh. Oh well. Even if she didn't have anything to add, I've got to try and remember that. My unicorn is probably over there somewhere when we come out of this because I'm going to be upset if we lose him. Now, Lob, a tub. A tub. Stay right here and wait for you to bring me what I need. Here are the things you ask for, a tub. Excellent. Now, you must come with me. You'll become a part of this. You must be present for the ritual. Sure thing, I can I can do that. Hopefully my unicorn just doesn't run too far away. Where are you, unicorn? You're scaring me, unicorn. You've scared me. You're not there anymore, are you? Ah, oh, there you are. Good, good, good. You're just blending in. Alrighty, let's go see what a tube has to say, hey? Now, I believe she's going to talk... Ooh, is that a salmon steak I see? It is indeed. She's going to talk to the chieftain real quick. Let's go have a... Let's go see what she has to say to Chieftain Yamaz. And now insist I call on Malakath for help when he has clearly forsaken me. You try my patience, Atub. Atub? Doing nothing will not grant our tribe relief from this curse. We must try. Uh, fine. Let's get this over Ooh. with. Yamaz, the terrible orc chieftain. What have we got in here, hey? Ooh, I think I've already got that enchantment. You know what we need? We need a uh, we need a fence that we can sell stolen stuff to. Go on, out you go, Atub. I'll be with you in a jiffy. There we are. Good stuff. I'll take that and take that. Um. Yeah, we need a fence. We really, really are in dire need of a fence that we can sell stolen stuff to. As Our it, tribe has again, survived this long without not, you interfering. We'll be fine. Okie dokie. Not a big fan of stealing now stuff, the but uh, when Great I do, I want to be able to offload it. We beseech you, aid us in our time of need. Why are we bothering with this? You pathetic weakling! 
Ooh. Shots fired. It's bad. Malakath has heard my pleas. He speaks to us. You dare summon me, Yamars? What? What is this? You don't deserve to call yourself an orc. You're weak. You're small. And you're an embarrassment. Damn, laying down the heat you on you. Let giants, giants, overrun my shrine. Bring me their leader's club as an offering, and I might release you from this curse. So it will be. Malakath has spoken, Yamal. Your path is clear. Very well. You, outsider, come here. I want a word. All right, I'll come talk to you, but uh, you've just been made to look very small in front of your little tribe here, bud. So I'll, I'll, I'd be trying to make as many friends as you could. This is all your fault, you know. Oh, I'm not starting with me. I'm stuck giant now, thanks to you. So you're going to help me. You're going with me, and you're going to make sure I don't have any trouble reaching that giant. Don't worry, I'll make it worth your while. Okay, what do you want me to do so long as I'm getting paid? This giant. It's not the only thing in the Fallowstone Cave. Getting to it isn't going to be easy. You're going to clear a path to the giant so I can conserve my strength. I'll make sure you're paid for it. So you meet me at Fallowstone Cave, and I'll get this over with. I could have my tribe back, and you can... You can leave us alone. Okie dokie, you mars. You are, uh, you sound a bit, uh, a bit sketchy there. Just a wee bit sketchy. Are you gonna, yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to wait for you to blip off into the distance. There we go. And where is this cave? So meet your Mars at Fellow Stone Cave. Is there anything else we can do while we're in this area? A, ve a vengeance cell, that is something I do want to do eventually as well. And we can't fast travel, can we? No, survival mode. Survival mode, of course. Um, Okie dokie. Guess we're stuck getting to Fallowstone Cave. Oh, I'm really upset that you died. I don't care that you died. It would be cool if we kept you alive just so the tribe looked a bit more lively, even though it would just be orc walking around, but still. Oh, I absolutely dislike it when uniquely named characters just die. Because even if what they had to add to the game was as simple as we don't want you here, Outlander, it just it just livens up the game for me that little bit more. I know it's small, but it really helps me out. Again, there's my Delia for the second time this episode on the other side of the map, just chilling out. How you doing, my friend? I'm pretty sure... Where? Oh, there he is. And here's an Imperial Soldier. What's he got to say? Imperial Courier. Nothing. He's just gonna... Okay. Nothing from him. And I think we got a spider up here. So let's deal with him real quickly. I'm pretty sure we're pretty close. Yeah, we are. Just the quest markers bugging out and saying we have to travel all the way back through Riften. And the spider's leaving us alone now. Okay. What have you got? An Ebony Shield. I can't remember giving that to you. Alrighty. We're really close to this cave now. And... Um just remembering back to what I said before I did a little cut there where I was talking about the, the characters. Um, and, you know, obviously having them die and it not being super great. I said it, like, helps me out. And it just, it helps me out to get, like, I don't know, immersed in the game. Like, obviously, if, obviously if there's more characters walking around, it, the game just feels more alive to me. I don't know. It's just a thing I've always had even since I was young. A lot of typical, like, younger people when they play games at least this is a generalization from what i've seen with my like siblings and stuff is they just like to go on rampages and kill everything <laughs> but for me it's I, I i tend to try and just like to actually keep everything alive but that's just me hey, anyway if there's a chance this will save me then i'm taking it i'll lead the way but you'd better back me up let's get this over with yeah let's do it man you're paying me right you said you'd pay me and Ilya's off fighting whatever that is. It looks like so. It looks like oh no no she's here she's here. Come on into the cave. Will she actually help me? Will she be useful, Ilya? The question remains. Oh, and she's here. She's here. She's being helpful. 
Will she continue this trend? That's the next big question. Um, how quickly can we run through this and you still be with us? Because I really don't want to... This does look really nice, though. The one thing Bethesda always, like, gets right is giving you, like, I guess you could say, like, a certain impression on each cave. Like, like each cave is different in a way. Like, I mean, some of them at some parts might feel a bit samey, but, like, each one ha leaves its own impression. Like, obviously, this leaves an impression. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's got its own thing. You you distinctly remember when you walk back into this cave, you're like, ah, okay, yeah, I know this cave. I've been in here before. I remember it for this reason or whatever. Even if you forget initially, you always kind of just have that click and you're like, yeah, I've been here before. I remember this cave. It's different for this reason. It has these features, yada, yada, yada. It just looks different. It's just memorable, you know? And I never played much of games like Oblivion and things like that. Uh, and other games like that, earlier games like that. I never... That's not really when I got into the franchise. I got into the franchise literally around Skyrim. That's why I love this game so much. Because I think it's always like, you know... Obviously the first game that you get into in a certain series is always going to be the best one. Because every other game will be slightly different. And it won't have the charm or the nostalgic feeling that you got from the first one but apparently and i don't mean to start any like wars in the comments but apparently oblivion struggled with that a little bit in terms of its actual uh designs okay i'm guessing you want to kill this guy let's kill him um in terms of its what are you doing don't run away in terms of its actual like designs for its uh dungeons and caves and stuff apparently they looked a little samey i can't comment on that um super with much credibility though because I, I think i played through oblivion once and it was like a super quick playthrough like i just wanted to get the game done just so i knew what the story was and say i had done it but it wasn't a um in-depth playthrough doing all the side quests and really experiencing everything the game had to offer so i'm not the best person in terms of credibility to actually comment on it but that's just what i've heard and i say that because obviously skyrim they if that was a thing they definitely improved on it in Skyrim, making things a hell of a lot more unique looking when you, especially when you pass through them for the first time. Okay, I thought they, I thought they were attacking your Mars and I was like, my goodness, come on guys, just, <laughs> can we just get this done without any hiccups? You know what I can't wait for? I can't wait for when we uh, go into a little bit of a modded playthrough where I make everything look a bit better and we can get the patch we can get the unofficial skyrim patch we'll take that cave bear pelt as well might as well we'll get the unofficial skyrim patch and uh yeah we'll be absolutely laughing there'll be and we'll get like better ai and all that kind of all those kinds of things and we'll be absolutely laughing we'll be having the best time oh there is someone there indeed, Mars. There is someone there indeed. So what we're going to do is get our Dramora Lords out, get our Soul Trap, because they'll make really quick work of them. Do that, and hopefully we've got a Soul Gem to Soul Trap them in, and we can continue on to looting whoever was unfortunate enough to come up here, or some other Orcs that were at the Shrine of Malakath, it looks like, that Yamaz let Giants take over. You're responsible for all this, aren't you, Yamaz? Hmm terrible terrible follower of Malakath. let's keep taking these pelts while we've got the carry room and where are we going now is it just up here i believe it's just up here isn't it it is indeed this is uh the first time he's run through this cave somewhat not super buggingly like sometimes when he's and and this is without the patch which is really surprising i was 100 percent expecting him to just enter the cave and just stay at the entrance which is what he's done in the past for me a great many deal a great many times and i've just had to finagle it and wait and fast travel back and forth and all that kind of stuff to get him to eventually come out here because yeah usually he just hangs right right back and doesn't actually progress through the cave with us so that was uh that was pretty right. painless thank you Yamas. i'll go kill this giant unless of course you'd like to make some extra gold extra gold you say well, I mean, the giant wouldn't be too much trouble. 
Uh, you know, uh, what, what are we talking about here, Chief Yamaz? It's a bit of an underhanded deal here, you know? I don't owe anything to Malakath, you know, I'm not an orc, so... You know, what, what are you offering me here? What, what do you mean? I'm tired. I haven't slept well in weeks. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. You've had an ear you infection too? Giant. Bring me the hammer. We go back to Lagerspur. I tell everyone I did it. You keep your mouth shut, and I pay you. Handsomely. Hmm, that, that does sound pretty sweet, and I could do with the extra gold. With this, uh, with this ear infection, I need to make an appointment, go see a doctor, and pay him up, especially around this time of year. Uh, pretty annoying. A little quick interjection from in real life right now. Pretty, in, pretty terrible trying to get a doctor's appointment around Christmas and New Year's Eve. Quite impossible, you might say. <laughs> but in any case, okay, I'll do it. Good. I'll be waiting right here. Defeat the giant, okie dokie. You just wait right there. Sit tight and pretty and comfortable and all that because believe me, as hard as this would be for you, I gotta say, I don't think it's gonna be too difficult for me because I have put things in place like these Dramora, my Dramora pals to try and ensure that certain things aren't too crazy at certain uh, levels. So we'll still ha we'll still definitely have some trouble in a lot of different uh, ways. Glad we could do that. We'll still have a lot of trouble in um, certain, certain bits of the game, but for other bits of the game like this, it's more of a, okay, we don't have to stress out as much as we perhaps normally might have to. We don't have to, like, be jumping around thinking what the next move is going to be, how to do this, how to do that, how to get rid of this, how to get rid of that. We can kind of just uh, get them out, let them do their thing, and... Did I cast Soul Trap on you? Can't remember if I did. Get them out, let them do their thing, and kind of just keep progressing with the quests as they come. Instead of having... A, come on, please get them. That definitely got them, 100%. Yeah, kind of just progressing with the quest instead of getting stuck on certain bits for like 20 minutes at a time. Like without the Dramora Lords, without Ilya and all that, a quest like this where I would have to, you know, jump around and Shagrol's hammer. Is that going to add to our carry weight because it's a quest item? Please don't. And it didn't. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Force Amethyst, 168 gold. Human Heart. Yeah, mm, mm, uh, carry weight's bad, but okay, it's all good. Um, Okie dokie and search bandit i thought you would have just been an orc honey nut treat didn't mean to take it but all good we'll take it and now we will quickly get out our little goat friend actually no we've got Ilya right here and you work now right oh you actually work how good how good what is it you when you carry? actually decide to work hey how good let's and you can't take any of it can you no nope. your carry weight's pretty dang full from memory so what we're gonna do? Hmm. <laughs> Let's get the goat out first. Let's see what they can take before we uh, before we cheese the carry weight just a little bit. Hilda, I need you to carry something. Don't you walk away? I and you can't carry much either. Dang, flabbit, hey! And we're just a little bit over. We'll give you these. And you can't carry anything else. Hmm. What has got me over so badly? I wonder, I wonder. It's got to just be all the ingredients, all the common soul gems we're carrying, and all the jewelry, and probably the potions as well. It's just going to be cumulative. I've really got to do, I've really got to head back to Hendraheim and absolutely clear out all these ingredients because they're all 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.5, and it all kind of adds up, obviously. Um,. Dang, that is annoying. Oh, three. Uh, maybe we can do this for now. Where is it? Where is it? Maybe we can do... Actually, no. Let's, uh, instead of that, let's drop this. Let's drop these. And let's drop both of these as well. Why not drop them? Okay, and what we're going to do is... Hopefully we can keep track of all them. Still Ilya, there. I need you to do all something. Right. What is it? What do you need? I need you to take that. Okay, got it. Take those. 
Okay, got it. Take them. Okay, got it. Take these. Okay, got it. And I think that's everything I wanted you to take. Good, good. Good stuff. Good Anything stuff. Else? No, no, you did everything. You did everything uh, rather painlessly as well. Uh, another bear pelt. Yeah, we'll take it. Six out of ten, so we just need four more of those, and we can just quickly finish off that quest as well. Oh, another poor orc here. Okie dokie. Your Mars. Sorted out my little carry weight issue there. Now, how much gold are you paying me, huh? Now, that was a, that was a bit of work. You have a true fighting spirit. Did that better than I could have. Oh, well, at least you realize I that. Can't let you leave here alive. Huh? Wouldn't want anyone finding out. What? Oh, your Mars. To think I was going to be a man of my word and... Oh, I would have kept that quiet. I would have... You know, you've done it now. You're gonna be an enchantment on a on a dagger. I hope you I hope you like the thought of that being an enchantment on a dagger. Probably something weak too, like turn undead that are like level three will flee from you for ten seconds. That's what you're gonna be. You're gonna be a weak enchantment on a dagger. Alrighty. Um. While we're here, let's let's uh let's get some of these going. Bang. 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 Ah. Uh, bang. Bang. Because we really need to start getting our alteration up. I really want to get that to level 100, if at all possible. Oh, we're pretty close there. We're definitely closer than I thought we were. Probably from all the detect life I've been doing. So let's just spam this while we've got the Magicka. And then I should probably let my Magicka come up a bit and get Soul Trap out again ready to uh, soul trap the fella because he's just been paralyzed out of his mind let's get these Dramoras down here when they're ready or has my paralyze made them weird oh no there's your Mars ready hitting me let's get that back out and let's get soul trap back out just in case we need to cast it on him again that magicka is regenerating really quick now I'm absolutely loving it Okay, okay, let's get Soul Trap on him, just in case. Not because I'm trying to level Conjuration or anything, I just really want to make sure we get this guy's soul. I'm really hoping I've got a Soul Gem large enough. Come on. Let's uh, get that one more time. Just want to make... Uh, I just really want to make sure we get this guy. Okay, paralyze him. You're not running away from my peeps. Destroy him. Just keep trying to get these paralyzers off. Sorry, Ellie, I didn't mean it. Just kind of happened. Hope you understand. And get him. Get him, Ilya. Get him. And soul trap real quick. Keep going, Ilya. You got this. I'm just I'm just doing my thing. Don't worry about me. You you can hit him. Anytime you want. I'm keeping him perfectly still for you. Just and now you're paralyzed as well. Okie dokie. <laughs> Let's get one of these guys out real quick, and let's get another paralyzer off. And I accidentally paralyzed my own guy. Okie dokie. Let's just do this. Let's just soul trap him. It's about time he finally dies. Come on. And soul trap. No soul gem large enough. Your Mars was a fool. <sighs> Always trying to scheme his way out of responsibility. Agreed. Agreed. Didn't mean to cut you off there, but I just want to leave him naked because he is shameful. I agree with everything but you're saying. You took care of him and the giants. Two problems solved at once. I'm pretty good at killing two birds now, at one time. Take Shagro's hammer back to Largishburg, and we'll see about whipping the rest of them into shape. Okay, takey, let's do it. First of all, I'm gonna drop, 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 drop because that's a full armor set right there. And did we pick up his weapon as well? I think we did, just for continuity's sake. So we'll drop that too. And Ilya, where are you? There you are. I've got you. I need you to All do right. something. What is it? So I think I showed this off in the last episode. What you can do is instead of no, 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 come on, give me, give me. There we go. Take that. Okay, got it. Take. Okay. Those. Uh, where is it? Take them. Okay, got it. Take that if you can. Okay, got it. And take that if you can. Okay, got it. 
There we go. So yeah, if you else? if their carry weight is full and you can't transfer anything to them, they can still pick stuff off the up off the ground, and it doesn't actually affect their carry weight. And now that you're here, can we move you, or is your shield making you like astronomically heavy? Yeah, your shield's definitely making you heavy. Okay, I'm happy with keeping you there though. Um, let's start making our way back to Largish Bear. I don't think there's anything hidden out in the open here, like any like hidden chests or anything if there is i'm not particularly phased we're we're tracking pretty well this character is pretty well developed now i gotta say we're, we're really at a point now where it's just a matter of it's just a matter of like 100 percenting some of that some of thoran's skills he's uh he's he's pretty he's a pretty well-rounded mage now to say the least he's definitely uh a pretty powerful fella Especially once you get your conjuration up to 100, no matter what, no matter where your other skills are, you are a pretty formidable force to uh, be reckoned with. Because once you can get the Dramora Lords out, or not even the Dramora Lords, just in general, once you can start casting more, more and more things to come and aid you, no matter what they be, whether it be Dramora Lords or Storm Atronarchs or Frost Atronarchs to tank a lot of damage or whatever, once you can start casting. Uh, those things and getting mad. Oh, are we going to see an NPC jump? We did. Some more unique content there on uh, Zarnov's channel. Um, once you can start getting conjuring up things to help you out, um, the playthrough or the, the character just becomes uh, so much better to use, so much more comfortable to use, if that's a way I can try and describe it. Where is this wolf? And it's already dead before I can get soul crap out. All good. Now, we have to make our way back to Lagerspur, I'm pretty sure. No fast travel from this location. Haha, <laughs> you forgot, didn't you, silly duffer? You were on survival mode. And here we are, just about at Lagerspur, but can you guys see? I just caught him out the corner of my eye, just over there. Can you guys see that? That looks like a sneaky little fella just crouching, and he looks like he's... He looks like he's up to no good. He's definitely up to no good. He's just aggroed on us. Uh, what is he? He looks like he's in some Dark Brotherhood armor, if I had to guess. Yup, and it looks like it might be a female Khajiit. So we're going to sprint away real quick because their one-handed will do insane damage to us with their enchanted gloves and stuff. And we're going to quickly uh, panic because she's closer than I thought she was. Hopefully she's aggroed on the horse. She has. We're going to get this guy out and this guy out. Make it 10 times easier. And then we're going to level our alteration a little wee bit. Just because I love seeing them still on the ground. Absolutely harmless. Nothing they can do to stop. Aside from when our horse just kind of stands there. You're doing good. You're doing good, Clay. Don't stress. But uh, I would... Uh, I really want to soul trap these kinds of people. But I just can't. I don't have the soul gems big enough for them. We uh, really need to look at getting some certain quest items that will help out with uh, the bigger, the bigger ticket uh, souls that require bigger soul gems. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for your assistance in that. Much appreciated. Full of sapphire gold lock pick dark brotherhood assassins note. What do we have? Like three of these now? Something like three? I'm gonna guess. They're not doing their job really well. I don't know who who's uh how many different people want me dead, but uh, these Dark Brotherhood fellas, they're not doing their jobs particularly well. I think this is definitely the third or fourth person they have sent after me. As instructed, you are to eliminate Thorin Varol by any means necessary. The Black Sacrament has been performed. Somebody wants this poor fool dead. We've already received payment for the contract. Failure is not an option. Well, they've received payment from four or five different people to kill the same person four or five different times and although failure has never been an option it seems like that's the only option they've taken every time aside from maybe once i think the assassin actually killed me but you know in the universe where we just get to quickly load back and continue on with our character uh technically it never happened but in any case, we're here. We can see a tube. Let's go on an a tube, and we can give what is it? The Shagroth Warhammer, Shagrol, Shagrol's Warhammer, to a tube, or place it up there and see what happens. It's going on a tube. Hurt anyone with that spell, and you'll be sorry. 
That is not at all what you should be saying to someone like me after I've just saved your entire tribe and killed your chieftain. I have returned with Shagrol's hammer. But what of your Mars? Oh, I'm going to tell you exactly see, what your Mars did. He did not survive. He he died well. No, quite the opposite. He asked me to kill the giant, and then he attacked me. I hope you understand just how much of a coward and how much un how much of a non-orc that makes him. All right? What? Why would he do such a thing? Because he Your is Mars pitiful. Is a coward yep. And a weakling. Yep. His deceitful ways have cost you all greatly. Preach it. Preach it. So he has been punished. Good. And what of us? What fate shall we suffer? You'll have to prove yourselves, but I'm willing to give you a chance. Gullerzo's in charge now. Let's hope he's a better chief. Let's you hope. Place that hammer on the shrine. You're the only one who's proven worthy in all of this. I tend to agree, to be honest. I definitely tend to agree. In fact, I'm not. Uh, I'm surprised I haven't been placed as chieftain. But in any case, activate shrine to Malakath. In, in in actual fact, that would be really cool. That'd be a really cool thing if uh, if you were an orc by race, and because you were an orc, it gave you the ability after doing this this quest to become chief of this tribe and then have like a few small activities you could do as chief i think that would be absolutely amazing but it was not to be activate shrine of malakath or shrine to malakath and boom the animations of bethesda absolutely insane did you guys see that absolutely crazy but in any case for those of you that don't know what you get for this mission is Volendrang. And now we can't run anywhere. How good. So, let's quickly have a look at this weapon. Volendrang. Absorb 50 points of stamina. So this is actually the Daedric artifact you get from finishing this questline from Malakath. Base damage, or I'm not sure what the base damage is. I'm pretty sure this would be base damage though, because our two-handed is nothing. So, damage 27. Decent enough, decent enough. Not the best, not the worst, but decent. 50 points of stamina damage is pretty good, especially if you're going up against other warriors. In any case, let's uh, let's do this real quick, just because that's a heavy boy. That's a really heavy boy right there. And then let's... Uh, hey, I need you to do something. Oh, jeez, I'm just realizing I'm putting so much faith in her for what she did to me last time, where she literally lost everything that was in her inventory. I can't believe that happened. Okay, got it. Make sure you pick it up. There we go. Anything? Uh, the only other thing I'll ask of you is please don't disappear and lose everything I give you again. That is just... It's just terrible. I absolutely dislike that I have to deal with... Because uh, I can't even remember what you lost now, but I just know that... I'm pretty sure it was an armor set, an armor set from the Creation Club. And what is a child doing all the way out here? What the heck? Who are you? It's just me and my mother at the mill here. My father is gone. We don't know what happened to him. At the mill? Oh gee, you're wandering a bit far from the mill, especially to a tribe full of orcs. I hope you're not here to start some trouble. I'll fight you if I have to. I appreciate the bravery, kid, but you really... I don't think you should be out here. In any case, what we're going to do now, because... I went on quite the rampage while we've uh, had our time in the rift here and just decided to destroy every bear I see because I see tons of them and this quest is, see, even now we're hearing another one over there to our right, uh, and this quest has been just clogging up the quest log for quite some time, so I gave a bunch of pelts to Ilya, so we'll quickly go and check this off the list so I don't have to look at it any longer. Because it's been on my mind, and I've been carrying around bear pelts for so long. Um, uh, the quest marker's not going to appear on it because I don't have all 10 of my inventory. Can't fast travel there. I'm just trying to put an icon there, if you would let me. Thank you. And we'll get over there and just uh, quickly tick this off the quest log. Okie dokie, we are arriving at Iverstead. And, oh guys. <laughs> have I potentially made a mistake here? 
Are you guys, are you guys, I don't even think you guys will uh, will pick up on what that mistake could be. But what it is, is I've, uh, I've relied on Ilya to carry all the bear pelts for me, you see? And that's not too bad in itself. That's not too bad in itself. I've relied on Ilya to carry all the bear pelts for me. And I ran all the way here, and while I was running here, we got engaged a couple times, a few different enemy types, you know, you know the drill. So now, I don't know if she's going to be just caught back somewhere in the rift, and it'll be like another few episodes before we see her. That could be really, really, really unfortunate for us. Like, really unfortunate. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to wait, and Ilya... Ilya. Ilya. No sign of Ilya. <laughs> no sign of Ilya. Oh no. So while we are trying to get her to come back to us, I'm going to cast some Muffle. Oh, morning. I thought you were going to be like, go cast that fancy magic somewhere else. We're going to do this. Hopefully, loading in a cell, she'll come in here with us. I think I heard her pull out her axe. Yes, she's with us. Good, good, good. Oh, was I so worried that that was going to be so much more terrible than it had to be. But Ilya, you've uh, you've relieved me of that stress, at least for now. I don't have to think about where you could or could not or potentially or whatever be because you're here. And I thank you so much for that. I'm, I'm aware of just how terrible you could... Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, a lot of a lot of different guards have heard that actually. Pretty insane. Am I to throw her to the wolves? You're hardly throwing her to the wolves. She just wants to see the world, just like I did when I was her age. And if she decides to leave Iverstead, what then? No. No, I can't bear the thought. I got some really bad news for you, man. Pretty sure she left a few weeks ago. So I'm not actually sure if that's bad news or what, because that just tells me that you're not a very present father and you can't even tell that she's gone already. But in any case, Ilya. Oh, Ilya. I'm right behind you. I know. I need to trade some things what with do you. you. Want me to carry? Uh, I'm not going to be getting you to carry anything right now. I'm actually going to be taking that. And... Ilya, where are the rest of those cave bear pelts? Ilya, I gave you seven of those. I gave you seven What's of those. How then? come you only picked up one, hey? How come you've done that to me? Oh, well, we're here now with the express purpose of finishing this off and giving her the bear pelts. And there will be plenty of bears around here. Just going to run around that dialogue because I don't want to activate it just yet. And we're going to go get this bear... And then we'll get a bunch more bears. And uh, shout out to those who don't know, because I don't know if you uh, have or haven't done your research on this, but the stamina on this unicorn is absolutely insane. I'm absolutely... Come, get up there. Get up there. Go on, you. Get on. Get up there. The stamina on this horse is insane. Like, I feel like whenever I start running with this thing, it just does not stop. So, yeah. What we're going to do is... I'm going to quickly go get the rest of these uh, bear pelts because that's originally what I came here for in the first place. Search Hunter. Yeah, we'll do that. You got a bear pelt to make this easier for us? No, you got some goat hide. You got a bear pelt? Come on. No, you got a wolf pelt and a ring of minor conjuration. We'll take that. Um, and so hopefully we'll kill him real quick and then we will soul trap him. But yeah, I'm going to get all 10 of these bear pelts and quickly hand in this quest. I can't believe Ilya lost those pelts. I don't know what is wrong with her. And somebody else who wants to kill us. What a surprise. Why is it when I'm looking for bears, I can never find any bears, but I find an infinite amount of wolves and spiders and random people standing on bridges with ebony armor that want to kill me? Why is that, eh? Why is that a thing? Why does this happen? Why do good things, why do bad things happen to good people, huh? What's the guy? Oh, and he's a strong one. So he's gonna kill me if I don't dodge these next ice spikes. Good, they killed the wolf when they're onto him now. He's a Breton. Why is a Breton trying to kill a fellow Breton? 
Why is a Breton in ebony armor trying to kill a fellow Breton? What have I done to offend you, good sir? I don't know. I don't know. But we're gonna. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get. Uh, no, we're gonna get. Uh, no, no. Yeah, we're gonna get some iron flesh going. We can definitely upgrade our ebon our uh, flesh spells soon. We'll get some ebony flesh eventually. But I don't know what I've done to offend this guy. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna paralyze him. Hopefully paralyze him. There we go, paralyzed. So we're gonna do that a few times, get our alteration up. Just a few more times, get it up, get it going. Just get him going down into the drink, I guess. And then we'll get another two Dramora Lords out, or at least one more. And let's uh, smack him maybe a few times with this. Don't think we'll kill our... No, 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 no. None of that, none of that. You started this beef with me, so I'm going to have to finish it, unfortunately for you. No, 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 no healing. No, 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 none of that. Yeah, I want what you're wearing, buddy. Unfortunately for you, you made a really big mistake. And you got some really good armor. So, I want it, obviously. Potion of Healing, Potion of Magicka, Ebony Armor. Heck yes. And Gold Ruby Circuit. Circlet. Yep. And why did you, uh, why did you do, why did you do that, hey? Why were you after me? I don't know what I did to you. Got no idea. But... I know who I've got to give this ebony armor to. Where are you, Ilya? Time to show up. There you are over there, I think. Hopefully not trying to kill my horse. And we're just going to have to make a very painful trip over to our horse glade there, I think. Oakley, Doakley, and we are finally returning to Iverstead to quickly finish off this quest that requires us to give her 10 bear pelts. Wowza, we are. That took longer than I wanted it to. No, no, no. Get here, get here. Oh, why am I? Oh, I'm over encumbered, and she's just walking slightly quicker than I am. Let's catch her here. Careful there we work. go. Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. Oh. That took so frustratingly long because I did have all the bear pelts and I gave them to Ilya and then for some reason Ilya only picked up one of them when I wanted her to pick up the whole stack and blah 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 yada yada yada. In any case, it's done now. I brought 10 bear pelts just like you asked. Nice to finally meet someone who can follow simple instructions. Here's your reward, as promised. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to get back to work. Steel War Axe of Soul Snares added. My gosh. Not worth it. Not worth it. Chance, Executive decision. Body, of course, of course. Word Just make it more worth my while next time because that was a terrible reward. Such a thing for that lot. Yes, uh... I don't have, I'm not even registering what you just said, to be honest. I am that out of it right now because I've had no sleep. I've just done two and a half hours of recording, a lot of it being pretty grindy. But hey, that's just how the episode was going to turn out as I kind of find my feet again and kind of just, you know, aim at being a bit more relaxed. But we still got some stuff done. We still finished off the College of Winterhold and we did that side quest for a tube and that side quest for... Whatever her name was, I cannot remember it. However, that is going to have to do it for today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. Leave any comments below. But most of all, please have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.